This is a ball run. And this is the ball run I made with only Lego. Let me show you how it was built, how it lifts balls, how each module works and how it works as a whole. To bring many Lego balls higher, I built a simple lift. I used one set of fixed steps and one set of steps that would move up and down. Something like this. Next, I need a tall and strong structure to hold both steps. Added fixed steps and prepared guides to add moving steps. Oh yeah, also added the motor to move the moving steps, then tilted everything. I finished the step sleeve by connecting the hub, so the test was ready. Please consider subscribing and also leave a comment. I decided to make modules in vibrant colors, so I built the blue seesaw. The ball should alternate between right, left, right, left. Finally, I added supports and arm extension. I also wanted the module with random paths, so I added studs to panel plate, like pinball, and it got stuck. A quick fix later. Cool, cool. I knew I wanted to use this curved gear rack, so I made the gravity launcher. With so much lost height from the gravity launcher, I had to bring balls to bottom of lift efficiently. And for last module before assembly, I made the glass bridge. While watching this super quick assembly, you could consider subscribing. And while at it, comment and like. Just added balls and it was ready to go. There's really not much to say, except enjoy. Would you like me to build even bigger ball run with new modules? But can it run with metal balls? The steps lift works a bit slower, but otherwise all good so f I will use red circles to show incorrect workings. Now time for 6 metal balls. Well, not great. 5 incorrect workings in just 15 seconds. I could make next one to be designed for metal balls. Are you interested? How about many Lego balls versus randomizer? I'll be honest, this ball run is not perfect. Even the steps lift can fail. The curve into the side pad can also fail sometimes. And so can randomizer with many balls. 